What's going on, my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. Woohoo! Okay. So, right off the bat, I want to show you guys what I've been doing. You guys should know. Bada bing, bada boom. It looks pretty good. I think, anyways. Um, so, I've been working on this off camera, obviously. Trying to get things going. Uh, and. The last episode, not the one, I did one where um, I was sort of uh, allowing nostalgia to kick in. And I really liked that episode. Um, it was a fun one to film. But uh, the one before that, I had asked you guys what you would rather us do. Um, would you rather us go and try and see if we can't uh, get the Ender Dragon um, defeated or what? So, wow. I'm lucky about that one. Get your face out of here, you sucker. Give me all that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I feel like I might be able to defeat the Ender Dragon or get close to it um, by episode 110. Sort of where I'm making the goal at is episode 110. I want to have the Ender Dragon completely and totally defeated. So it's going to require me spending some time at night uh, getting some things murdered uh, like crazy. And uh, right now we've got four. I believe we need eight minus two, six. I believe we need six more um, of the. Enderbells, which is good. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys a few things on the outside here. Obviously, you should be able to tell what these are. These are not native, <laughs> nor should they really be growing here. But, uh, yeah, I decided to have those here. These are not growing at all, and I think that's because they should be paired up uh, in fours. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But uh, I've been working... What the? Has that red carpet been there the entire time? No way. No. Something funky is going on with this. Anyways. Huh. Well, we're just going to leave those right there. Uh, but I'm trying to get all these plants and stuff made so that when I do build the Arboretum, I can fit them in. But uh, what the common consensus was from you guys, um, and I want to thank you guys for all of your contributions because, holy crap, I asked for you guys' help on something and you responded like nobody's business. And let me tell you guys, from a Let's Player's perspective, that is a dream come true. And... Quite honestly, if I never get another subscriber, I can say that at least that episode was successful. And uh, I ran a successful channel for a little while. Uh, just because I was able to get some opinions out of you guys. And I think for a Let's Player, that's really all we want. Is just some opinions um, from our loyal fans. And you guys don't know how much it really helps. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of iciness around the top here. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is going to have to be some wood. So this process has not exactly been the uh, as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, at first, I thought, okay, well, you just layer and layer and layer, but it is clearly not that drop dead simple so um, I've done a few things to kind of help work this out and uh, some of it makes sense some of it doesn't I'm just hoping it's not really gonna matter at the end of the day uh, for instance that spans the three whereas right over here spans four so I don't think it's really gonna matter um, 
but I don't know until I get there. So I'm kind of just working things out a little bit, trying to see what I can do to improve and what I can do to not improve, or uh, I guess it's not the right word, uh, what I can do to improve and what I can do to um, enhance the whole thing. So, uh, throw that there. Okay. Uh, and then this hallway will be is now completed, except for a few little things at the top. And as you can see, looking down there, it looks perfectly fine. Now, this is a great ambience, and I love it uh, for a lot of different reasons, but mainly because if you just feel, feel this for a second, it feels very much like a cave, and or but doesn't have an eerie feeling, like you feel it. I say feel a lot, <laughs> like you'd feel uh, a cave might have. Uh, with these side things, just what I'm doing here um, is I'm just sort of extending a little bit of these little bits here, and I'll have to get some blue wool, which can be found here, and just throw the blue wool down, and uh, take our door and throw it back up. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And we'll just repair these at the top. Really get the good effect. Obviously, I don't totally want to work on this all day um, or all episode, but I did want to show you guys how it looks, and I just want to finish it off so we can get a really good idea of what this is gonna eventually look like. Okay, so there we go. That's finished. That's the entire hallway. And I love it. I really do feel like this worked just fine. Um, the only few things I'm worried about is, like I said, the inconsistency. Because I had originally said, okay, well, a three. Um, we'll do a three. What I should have done is I should have done a three, a two, and a one. And kind of added a little more dy dynamics to it. Which I could, in theory, do. That being said, right now, I'm more focused on getting a template down, and uh, maybe later on we'll make something more of it, but um, I've got a lot more to go. Oh, crap. I wanted to do it like that, and then like that. Okay. So... With all this being accomplished, um, I have to tell you, I'm really happy with the results. And uh, what we're going to be working on probably next, or at least I want to start doing, is uh, I want to work on the dining room and the living room. And uh, I haven't seen the transition point on the other side. That's one thing I did want to look at, is how much of a transition is it to go from here, okay, right? Bada bing, bada boom, into here. Which is actually a pretty good transition. And uh, even looking out, the color scheme isn't too uh, vast a, of a difference. Um, definitely going to have to put string here because I didn't want it to be so crazy. But uh, <laughs> I do like the way the green is really popping out. And I think this room is probably one of the best rooms I've ever made. Period. Um, but we need to think about how we're going to do the living room and the little study, uh, as well as the dining room, which I think should use the same colors as the kitchen, um, except for I'm going to put carpet in the dining room and wood flooring, which I want to use the darker wood flooring rather than what we have here. But, ugh, I can't believe we've gotten so far as we have, and uh, I can't wait to start getting down into the nitty gritty areas like here. Which this one, to complete this area right here, is going to be a lot harder. And I promise you guys it will be. Uh, for starters, we need to be thinking <laughs> how we're going to do things. Uh, one of the things that's going to be interesting is I sort of have a choice here of going all the way up. Uh, can't do it in this case, but let's just assume for the sake of assuming that we can do it like that 
I could have a higher roof that's butt up against uh, the snow. This probably would be a better example. Right here, we can do this and save on the snow material. But the snow material is renewable. So we could just layer it on like that. Have a lot better of a uh, roof there and be good to go. Not sure yet what we're going to do with that, but obviously, guys, it's a good start where we're at. And, uh, yeah, just got to keep chugging away at it. And this weekend, that's what I'm going to be doing, is really chugging away at breaking those blocks and uh, putting on what we need to put on into here. I've got to finish off this right here. Let's do that right now, because why the heck not, right? I'll just... Actually, I think doing it like this will just be fine. But I do want to thank all of you guys because you guys have been here with me, working this stuff out with me. And, uh, you know, I was thinking today about where I want to go and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. Uh, where I want to go and all that stuff and, and how I want to deal with new situations as they come up. And, you know, we'll take it all in stride one at a time one little thing at a time and uh right now my main goal is to do what you guys have asked and uh, we're gonna go into the nether i mean not the nether we've already been in the nether um we're gonna go into the end and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do iron armor we're gonna do an unenchanted bow and we're gonna have 60 two stacks of arrows and we're going to see where we can go from there. One thing I want to do before we sign off today, let's do a little bit of this number. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Alrighty. So we're done. We're done. And it's nighttime, so I'm probably going to spend some time trying to hunt some Endermen, uh, which I can't do with this sword. Uh, but one of the things I was going to do is I was going to make a new diamond sword. Oh, crud. That was really scary for a second. Um, I want to make a new diamond sword that doesn't have fire aspect. And what we're going to do is we're going to go find those endermen and chop them down. But, until next time, guys. Happy mining and crafting.